Happy VA Wednesday. Today we're gonna to talk about using departing residence rental income. So what does that mean? So what I'm talking about is if you own a house currently and you're gonna be purchasing a new home and in order to purchase the new home, you need to offset the payment by, by having a renter, like that's your plan. Your plan is I can have both houses, I just need a renter to pay for that one. Okay, that's what we're talking about right now. So as a lender, if I see that's what you're doing, the first thing I'm gonna do when I'm qualifying is I'm gonna see if you qualify for both mortgages with no renter, right? That's the easiest way to do the loan is if you qualify for both mortgages because then I don't have to get additional documentation. I mark that it's being turned into investment property. You write a letter of explanation about buying the new house to live in, done. Okay, easy. Well. It's not common. Most people can't afford to have two houses, so they often have to use rental income from the residents they're departing. Now, this is the VA way that it's looked at, okay? So in order to utilize departing residents' rental income, we have to have a signed lease as well as a security deposit. Yes, you. without those two things, we are not counting a nickel. Now, here's the other thing. So sometimes someone may be like, okay, well, the payment's $1,000, the renter's gonna pay me $2,000, so then I'll show you even more income. No, mm -mm, no, no, no. The rental amount can only be used to offset the current principal interest taxes and insurance on that property, and if there's an HOA nothing more. So if you have this really cheap payment and you're gonna charge a fortune and you're thinking you know, you've got that window that's gonna help push you to the higher house on top of that, no, we can only use the rental income to offset that cost of that house. Not electricity, not gardening, just the basic principal interest taxes and insurance. Okay, so a lot of times people say to me, well, how am I supposed to rent out a house that I live in? It's contingent, guys. You're, you're renting out the house on the, the notion that you're moving into a new one. So let's say that your house is supposed to close on January 1st, right? Who doesn't wanna close on, you can't close on January 1st, January 2nd, okay? I was excited for a second. Um, let's say that your house is closing on January 2nd. Great, you do a lease with your new tenant where they occupy within you know a week of your closing of your house. The lease is contingent on the closing of your house. Seriously, Google contingent, this works. So you do your lease contingent on you moving into the new house and you need a security deposit. It cannot be cash, it has to be documentable and it can't be like, uh, oh, my grandma's gonna move in. It needs to be like a third party tenant, okay? So I always recommend, you know, and we actually had this happen with a client recently where they were using a rental management company and the rental management company was like, we're not even gonna list your property until you're out. You have to have every stitch of everything out, um, which was a, a real problem. We needed the income and it was ridiculous. And the borrower was like, oh my God, what do I do? I'm like, go on Craigslist, seriously, go on Craigslist. You know, there's so many different websites now where you can rent out your property and not have to have, like, of course, as a rental management company, if the house is clean and perfect and there's nothing in it, well, is it easier for them to rent it? Yes, yeah, of course, that's super easy. That's like rent, that's like selling a million dollar house for $700,000. It's not hard, right? If you're doing something like, anyways, but if you're, most of the markets around the country, from what I'm seeing, they're hot, even for rentals. So you can literally put your house on Craigslist, you know, of course, background check people. Maybe your local rental management companies are not as terrible as this one were and as unaccommodating, but there's so many different ways to rent your house. Personally, I did that um, when I rented my last property, I had stayed there for a bit while I was remodeling my house. So I did a coming soon and I had pictures, I talked about the house, I said what I wanted in rent. And that's actually a really good way to gauge the market too, because you can see how many people are interested at the price that you're listing. Um, and then I just said, you know, occupancy to be X, Y, Z. It wasn't hard, guys. I got a lease, I got a security deposit. The gal moved in the day after I moved out. Done, right? That's what you want, especially if you need that money to offset the other property. You want that money coming in as quickly as possible. So I just wanted to do this quick video today so that you guys were prepared and so that you knew what the rules would be because this can be a great way to accumulate wealth, to have more properties, um, 
you know, and look, keeping the property is not always the right answer, but sometimes it definitely is, especially if it cash flows. Thank you for watching.